Welcome back! How's everyone doing? You guys doing well too? I'm doing good too. Let's get today's session. So today we got some wacky sonic music playing in the background. Oh yeah! So what we're gonna be talking about today is Sonic Mania. As we know, I would probably say the same old information that probably other people say. I'll say from my mouth this time. Okay, so basically, oh, Green Hill's playing at the background. <laughs> Never mind that. So we know this game has eight old zones and six new zones. Whoa! Isn't that fantastic? I am so excited to hear all this. Now, we need to know the old zones they're talking about. What are they going to be? So, why is it available right now? Which we have, and what they mean showing on YouTube videos. Okay, so first off, the first zone is Green Hill. The second zone is Chemical Plant. Third zone is Stardust Speedway. The fourth zone is Ooh, I can remember the fourth zone now. Uh, it was called um That's the one. Oh what's it called? Flying Battery. That's the one. So these are the four old zones. Now the point here is that what are the four new zones? Very very hard to predict that is. Very very hard to predict. We look at all the material right which we've seen already on Sonic Mania. I'll tell you right now the zones which won't be appearing in Sonic Mania are these ones. They won't be in there. So these are the no no zones in Sonic Mania. The first one which a lot of people are talking about is Angel Island. If we look at that level in Sonic 3, it's already been made really really impressively well and it's well made. Good level design. I don't really even think the developers can't even improve on that. What can't they even do with that really? I don't really think both the acts were that long. They were pretty short. So that one is definitely not gonna be in there. Yeah. Another one a lot of you are talking about Hydro City. It says fan made. Why you keep on talking about Hydro City? Where did people hear this news? The Hydro City is gonna be in there. Why do they just make things up? There has nothing been confirmed about that. But Hydro City. Well, that's definitely not gonna be in there either. Okay, the next one is Marble Garden. There's been few screenshots and some kind of images about this get about this zone. 
and it seems to me that this will be appearing in Sonic Mania by looking at some of the screenshots and the information we got it looks like it's gonna happen cool <laughs> I love that music Emerald Emerald <laughs> Sonic 2 yeah so that definitely looks like it's gonna be appearing in there next zone carnival night no chance nothing's been confirmed on the zone nothing no 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 thumbs down for this one 100% that's not gonna be in there at all another zone ice cap hmm will that really be appearing Yes. Why wouldn't they put an ice cap? Wow, the graphics, the deep gameplay, so much. There was to do in this zone. Ice cap. Just thumbs up. They need to bring that zone in there, man. Ice cap needs to be in there. Next zone. Launch base. I don't know why would they have this zone in Sonic Mania because it's the last level in the game that wouldn't make sense anyway I don't think Lucha Base is going to be actually in there some say it will no chance launch base will not appear in there I think it makes great sense but not putting that okay so we got four more zones left. We said Marble Gardens, one of them. Second one is Ice Cap. Now there's only two left. Hmm. What can they be? These two zones are going to be from Sonic and Knuckles. The next zone I'm going to be talking about, it has appeared in few games before mm. one of the games it came in was Sonic and Aura and all Racing Transformed it's also appeared in Sonic Generations do you know which zone I'm talking about? Sky Sanctuary that's the zone will be appearing in Sonic Mania as number three the way I'm looking at it, Sky Sanctuary is definitely gonna be in there. They can't ignore that. That level is epic, man. Epic, epicness. So that's definitely gonna be in there. And by far, one of the wildest, one of the most amazing level appearing in the first four Sonic games ever is from Sonic and Knuckles. And do you know what it is? Death Egg. That will be the fourth final zone, man. From Sonic and Knuckles. Death Egg. I gotta see this level. It's gonna be amazing. We do know in Sonic and Knuckles, that was not the last level. Because when you get all the emeralds, you get a level called Doomsday. <laughs> wow. We want to get trapped to Doomsday anyway. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's a shame. That's Angel, Angel Island playing at the back. But well, I don't think they could have improved that level anyway. So, from the new zones, we've got. Studio Palace. Great, amazing level man. Looks colorful. It's like a cinema style level. Just brilliant man. I love the music too man. Beautiful. 
another zone which was in there was Mirad Saloon. It's another level. Just, just amazing, man. Did a great job on that, didn't they? It's two zones. Isn't it? Because I did tell you there's six new zones. I just mentioned two of them. The third zone is which they only got a soundtrack on, but there's no any screenshots or any gameplay on it. It's called Heavens. Now that leaves us with three more zones. Now the interesting point is out of them three zones which will be the final stage in this game if I'm not wrong this game is gonna be like a Sonic and Knuckles style where Death Egg came before the last level so there will be another level of Death Egg so I think <laughs> Sky Sentry Oh, I love this music. Just listen to it, man. Oh, it's so great. It's so just, man. I don't know how to, how to describe it. It's just, it's just a great music to listen to, isn't it? It's proper atmospheric, man. It's like you're going towards Death Egg after this level, aren't you? Wow, what a level this was. <laughs> He was running on these platforms, man, like crazy. This level was amazing. Some might think this was the best level in the game. Choice is yours. I really think Death Egg was the best level in the game. The Sky Sanctuary is not no exception. It was a great level, this is as well. So I think again, in Sonic Mania, Death Egg will come before another stage. And then that final stage is gonna be a brand new stage from the three zones which is left. I think this game, you know, when it's fully made, it's gonna be epic, man. Nothing's gonna be wrong with it. Already, it's been confirmed and revealed. The special stage. It's a, it's a mixture of uh, Sonic Three. Sonic R, Sonic CD, and Sonic Jam. Something like that within them lines. This will be a brand new special stage with a brand new techno music as well on top of that. I think this game is becoming a, a real thing. Now the final thing I want to confirm about this game that a lot of people are confused. We do know that the Android game, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, was developed by Christian Whitehead. And if you look at them games, they were made worse than the originals. Sometimes when you're not touching the enemy, he's walking towards it. You get caught like that. And I even think the frame rate in the Sonic character is moving too fast. It's far too fast what he's doing. I think he was alright what he was doing. The game wasn't actually developed right. It wasn't made right either. Christian Whitehead didn't do the job right on Sonic 1, Sonic 2. The Sonic CD is made him by himself again. Looks like better, yeah. Again, yeah, but you can already play the game on Mega CD. It was not anything new to that game, to be honest. I'm gonna confirm to you right now Sonic Mania is not developed by Christian Whitehead. If you look at the credits, says producer what is Christian Whitehead's actually job in this 
and game. It was his idea and he started the project because he was a fan of the old Mega Drive Sonic games. And that's why he wanted to make this game again. But he didn't actually develop this game. It is still developed by the original Yuji Naka's team. Whether Christian Whitehead started his project, which is a good thing, what he thought of, but seriously, he did not develop this game. It's still, this game is backed up by the original Yuji Naka Sonic team. That's a great thing. To see in this game that Yuji Naka's team are back up to their work again in this new game. Whether this game will be a success if they think the zones are enough, because in total, there's 14 zones, eight old ones. Six new ones, exit 14 zones. If that's enough zones, it's gonna be a good thing. If not, then it's gonna be bad news, isn't it? Really, because if we look at the original game, Sonic 3 and Knuckles had the same zones 14. I think it would have been better if the game had more than 14 zones. I literally don't mind because I think 14 zones are enough because it because this this stage can be hard you know because we really don't know what the new stage is like in this game because we never actually played them they can be quite challenging because people who played the original Sonic games did struggle on them not everybody is good with Sonic games because still people enjoy them I know a lot of people think Sonic games in 2D are pretty hard. <laughs> Imagine playing Sonic Mania. Them same people probably will struggle with this game. Some people think differently about Sonic Mania saying that there's not enough zones in 4. There's not enough zones. This is saying sport and it's not enough. I think that's actually wrong to say that. Because a lot of people tend to find Sonic games pretty hard. You can probably couldn't even get through Gradial Zone. I'm not even joking to you. Some people couldn't even play Green Hill. And Green Hill is more like a training level, I would say. You know, it's like a startup level, isn't it? It's to get, it's to get, it's to get you heated up to the next zones and all that. But people tend to struggle with the games. I'll tell you, a lot of people found Sonic 3 hard. Sonic Knuckles would be too hard for them if they can't play Sonic 3 in it. But Sonic Mania having 14 zones. If people think Sonic games in 2D is hard, Sonic Mania will be a great challenge for them. For some people, they're good with Sonic games in 2D and some aren't. So there's two concepts here. One people aren't, one people are. So the people who aren't good with Sonic games in 2D, they're going to think 14 zone is quite a lot. But people who are good with Sonic games in 2D, they're probably going to think, I got to level 1, got to level 14 so easily, it's all over so soon. If this game has extra modes, it does have them. I think it's got competition and co-op, 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 that will keep you entertained as well in this game. This track playing at the back, actually on the laptop, is from Sonic CD. It's a great song. I don't think you'll get that in Sonic Mania, because you're not supposed to. 
the original music is gonna be different, and this music is gonna be different. So I think this has covered quite enough of Sonic Mania. What we can expect. There's not a long long way to go now. Yeah, look at yourself. Okay, really look at yourself. Oh, I think I got carried away <laughs> to the music. I always used to listen to this track here. Yeah. And I used to dance away. When I even used to play on TV and all that. It was a good tune this was. I think Sonic games do have good soundtracks. They know how to do the mixing really good. Come oh on, they're just great music, aren't they? They're really, really techno, aren't they? The music are. So, I hope you found this video very informative and it has given you much knowledge on Sonic Mania. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this game. Silence. So what have we have here now? Ha! <laughs> okay, it's Sonic Adventure. It's a nice way to celebrate, listen to this great music. Okay! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it has covered most majority things. More than the things that you can expect from Sonic Mania. And I am so entertained to play this game. All of my favorite games begin with S Man. No joke. So, I hope you guys. I've been enjoying my Sonic Mania videos. If I find any more information about anything else about Sonic Mania, I think I will. Probably in the coming days or weeks. I just really want to see what the special stage is like. Because we haven't actually seen much. The only sort of screenshot where Sonic is just like moving to the right, oh, just running. And you can see the spheres on the left hand side. Looks pretty tricky. Because you can see he's running this way, isn't he? And this blue appears over here. I hope the screen's not moving automatically. Because that's going to make things really difficult. Okay! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Your likes, comments, comments, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye from now.